The Christmas dinner of 1943, the menu is as follows. Roast stuffed Vermont turkey, giblet gravy, chestnut dressing, buttered green asparagus tips, buttered fresh green peas. Does the thought of making Christmas dinner for like 15 or 20 people stress you out? Imagine making it for 8,000 people, Navy sailors to be precise. That's exactly what Sam Wasson did. I, I quit high school two months after Pearl Harbor, and I hitchhiked to the ne nearest recruiting station to join the Navy. I caught a ride with a truck driver. The truck driver says, where are you going? I says, I'm going to join the Navy. <laughs> he says, how old are you? I said, 16. He was stationed at a submarine base in New London, Connecticut. The year was 1943, and the U.S. was embattled in the horrors of World War II. But Wasson and other Navy chefs wanted to make sure that at the very least, the sailors had a traditional Christmas dinner. Uh, there, there were 22 cooks that made that dinner. We had those uh, 150, 30-pound turkeys that we started roasting at midnight, and we started slicing them at 8 o'clock in the morning and cleaned them all up. We made 400 two-pound fruitcakes and cut them in 20 pieces. We got the brandy and the rum for the fruitcake from the officers' club. We traded them prime ribs of beef for two cases of booze. <laughs> and that's true. We, we, uh, the the 8,000 men we served, we also put any submarine going to sea that was going to be at sea over Christmas. We gave them six fruitcakes to take with them. And uh, we gave it to about, I think, about 15 submarines. And uh, two of them didn't get to eat their cake. They were lost before Christmas.